Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this lead code problem solving series, today we are going to solve remove nth node from end of list. First, I will read, the, read out the problem, then I will explain the logic behind it. So first, we, we have to remove the element from the end list, end of the list. So we need to count backwards and then we need to remove that particular element. For example, in the first example, we could see we need to remove the second element when counting backwards. So here, obviously, the second element is 4 when we count from backwards. So we need to remove that. So we will see how to solve this particular problem in a very optimal way in Python. And we will see the logic behind this problem where you can apply all kinds of programming languages in order to solve this problem. Okay. Now we will see how to solve this particular problem. This is the first example that is given in the lead code website and we need to remove the uh, second element when counting from the backwards. So we need to remove 4. Okay, we need to remove the value 4. I mean the node 4. Okay. So in this video we are going to see how to solve this problem in order of n time and with constant space okay one space okay so in this example we are going to remove the fourth node which is nothing but the second element from the end of the list which is nothing but the fourth node okay we are going to remove the fourth node first i will have my slow and fast pointer here then i will move my fast pointer nth time till the nth node here in this case it's 2 so i will be having f here then i will move fast and slow pointers simultaneously until fast pointer reaches the last node so now my s will be here f will be here then s will be here f will be here right now slow dot next this pointer should point to slow dot next dot next which is nothing but the five that's what we are going to do Okay, we can also mention it as fast. Okay. We can also put it as fast. Now, we are automatically going to remove the nth node from the end of the list. And there is also another edge case. What if n is equal to 5? In this case, we need to remove the first value. So we need to check before moving the slow and fast pointer, we need to check whether fast pointer has reached the end of the list. If we if, if the fast pointer have reached the end of the list, we will return directly without moving these two pointers, just the next element of the head. Okay, we will see uh, how to code this one and this time complexity and spaces order of n time and order of one space since we are not using any extra space here so this is order of one space and order of n time now we will see the code so now we are going to see the code for the particular problem First, we will handle the edge case. If head, if there is no head, we are just going to return head. Now we are going to point fast and slow pointers to head. And then we are going to iterate the fast pointer alone, which I said there. Or till the nth node okay 
pass pointer alone we are going to use a for loop here so now we are going to handle that edge case what if we, if we reach the end of the list which means which indirectly means that we have we have to remove the head pointer okay if there is no first pointer if we reach the end of the list then we can just return head dot next we don't have to move the slow and fast pointer simultaneously in this case you can directly return in the else case okay here we if we don't have if we haven't reached the end of the list then we have to do the simultaneous moving of the of these two pointers okay first we need to uh, move we need to do this loop till we till the fast pointer reaches the end node okay so while fast dot next now we are going to move simultaneously slow dot next fast is equal to fast dot next okay after reaching the end of the end node we are going to exit the loop now we are going to remove by remove the nth node from this end okay by pointing the slow next slow the next slow dot next is equal to slow dot next dot next okay then we are going to return the head loop as simple as that this time complexity is order of n time and space is order of one space which is a constant space now we are going to sum it it worked and it seems very optimal so yeah thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe and also uh, comment the problems you want me to solve so that i can solve those problems in the upcoming videos and also check out my other leak code videos uh, which you may find very helpful and keep supporting and happy learning cheers